Today we drove up to Galena, Ohio to check out yet another beautiful creation from Diani Home. Say hello to the Behringer 2. This stunning modern farmhouse design is composed of four bedrooms and four and a half bathrooms inside a spacious 3,910 square feet. It also has an additional bedroom and bathroom in the finished basement, which brings this particular model to five bedrooms and five and a half bathrooms. On the outside, the Behringer 2 is a sight to behold with its charming modern farmhouse facade complete with white board and batten siding and black frame windows. The rustic wooden exposed trusses and massive wood columns break up the white siding and add an extra touch of farmhouse charm, which makes it feel like you're living in a postcard. As you work your way up to the front door, you'll pass under a large gable that leads to a spacious covered front porch, which wraps all the way around to the left side of the home. The only thing this porch needs is a fleet of Cracker Barrel rocking chairs and a couple oak barrel end tables, you know what I mean? On the right side of the home, you'll find a three-car garage with one double stall and one single stall laid out in ice L pattern. On the rear of the home, the outdoor space is a true oasis with a covered back patio that sits just off of the great room. The sliding glass doors completely open to allow a nice flow from inside to outside and a remote screen that drops down to protect you from all the bugs. When it comes to the price, this home starts at approximately $566,000, though that price can fluctuate depending on your choice of design preferences and the exterior elevation you choose as the Behringer 2 also comes in a Craftsman and traditional package. With that though, before we get inside, if you would like more information on this model or any of the models that we've toured across the country, you can use the Find My Floor Plan Finder on our website at timothyplivingston.com to filter homes based on your specific needs. It's all 100% free, so definitely go check that out. You can find the link for that down in the description. All right. <laughs> Man, this home, y'all, this home is gorgeous. So when you first walk in, this is the view that you were greeted with. Obviously already looking into that great room with those gigantic exposed beams. But this is the foyer. And it's got these really nice kind of powder blue doors. There's actually uh, a lot of this powder blue accent color throughout the home, which I absolutely love. But the foyer is quite spacious. It's got these really beautiful floors. And then there are several things happening on either side of the foyer. So to the right hand side, when you first walk in, you've got this office space. It's got these nice barn doors, but really nice size flex room in here. Obviously you can set it up like an office. You can turn it into like a little library, a little reading space. And you've got these windows looking out onto that huge front porch. That's probably one of my favorite parts because you've got those gigantic columns out there. I like that a lot. To the left hand side of the foyer, there is a laundry room. So again, you got that kind of powder blue color. You've got a pocket door right here that separates the space. And you've got your washer dryer hookups. Next to that, it's a nice wash basin. And then back behind us, there's actually a huge folding table. So plenty of space. Pull those clothes straight out the dryer. Flop them over here on this side. And get the folding. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna have to save that for later. <laughs> we'll get to, to what's behind that door in, in a little bit. So continuing through the foyer, you enter into the great room. Got these great big sliding doors. They open all the way up so uh, you can drop down the screen back there, open up the doors in the summertime, and just have that really nice indoor outdoor living experience. You know what I mean? But uh, beautiful great room. You've got these great big built ins on either side. Again, with that kind of ship lapping going up to the ceiling that matches the ceilings in the in the foyer great big mantle and then this tile surround that thing looks amazing 
Really sharp looking. Man, could you imagine just opening these up and being able to just to flow back and forth? I think that would be awesome. Then looking back towards the kitchen area, I love this big old open concept down here. This kitchen's got a bunch of stuff happening in it too. So huge island right here, plenty of seating space. Got some nice light fixtures up top. This has got all that like gold accent, which looks really cool. You got the nice apron sink right here. Soft closed drawers. You've got the panelized dishwasher. You've got a nice outlet on this side. Then on the back wall, you've got double ovens. Some nice open shelves on either side of this really good looking range hood. Then you've got the gas range. You've got the pot filler. Again, nice tile backsplash too. Now there's not a lot of cabinets right here, and I'm gonna show you why in just a minute, but you've got the refrigerator with some nice glass pane cabinets up top. And then next to that, you've got a little media center. Um, a little extra workspace. Then through this door, y'all are gonna love this. This is the pantry, and <laughs> this thing is nice. So again, as you can see, you've got the matching backsplash uh, behind everything that matches what was in the kitchen, but you also have tons more storage in here. You've got the microwave, plenty of lowers, you've got a great big sink, and then y'all are gonna like this too. These uh, two drawers aren't drawers. They're actually dishwashers to go along with the other dishwasher out in the kitchen. So I thought that was pretty neat. Then through here, you've got some more storage space, kind of like a little drop zone for when you come through the garage. And then you have a bunch of cubbies right here, a nice little bench and plenty of hooks to drop your jacket. You've got garage stalls right here. You've got access up into the attic. Your water heater, your electric panel, all that stuff's out here. Then on the opposite side of the kitchen, you've got this great big dining room again with some massive windows, more exposed beams. I like that too. And those fun, <laughs> fun light fixtures. So that's neat. And then on this side, you've kind of got like a dry bar area, uh, some more glass pane cabinets, and then two little mini fridges on either end. Perfect for some beverages. I'll go ahead and we'll step out here real quick so you can get a little bit better look at it. Now, the first time I ever saw one of these drop down porch screens was actually a Diani home. So that was pretty neat. Uh, and then they have also incorporated it into this one. You got a fun fan, nice ceilings up there as well, but just a great big outdoor space. Definitely see hanging out out there, especially with that pool. Come summertime. Whoo. <laughs> So oh, we'll catch that closet on the way down to the basement, but we're going to hop over here um, and check out the master suite. Then we'll go upstairs and check out all of those rooms as well. So you do have a coat closet right here uh, as you come kind of through the foyer area kind of around the corner. If you wanted to use it for that, but then coming into this great big room. You've got the double tray ceilings up there. Again, like that soft baby blue in the ceiling, which is cool. And then this right here is actually a custom sliding glass or sliding barn door rather, which is 
pretty neat. I like the fact that it's mirrored and it's got this fun design on it too. But that separates the bedroom from the ensuite itself. And as you can see, they carried that same theme into the cabinetry, which just looks real sharp. So you've got double vanities, plenty of cabinets and drawers. And then back behind us, you've got a nice little soaking tub. It's almost like coming to the spa looking at that thing. And then the floors in here are actually heated as well. I was talking to Ray earlier about it and he was walking me through the home and I thought that was pretty neat. I kind of want to, it makes me want to take my, my shoes off and <laughs> warm my toes up. But uh, zero threshold going into the shower, which is nice. You've got a bench, you've got a rainfall shower head, two great big shower heads right there. Almost like one of those car wash showers. Then on the opposite side, you have the water closet. Again, got that soft baby blue door. And then all the way at the back of the ensuite, again, separated by another pocket door, you come into the master closet, which again, another big window, all the different shelves. And then this door, this is the one that I started to open up earlier, but I did not. And it leads right here back to the laundry room. So super convenient, really close to that and then back into the foyer. So from here, we'll go ahead and work our way upstairs, which there are three bedrooms up here, which is pretty neat. And all of them have their own en suites, which I like a lot. So this is the first of the three. This one sits over towards the side of the house. Really big too. They're all about the same size. but into its ensuite, you got the single vanity, the vanity light, the toilet, and then you have a shower and tub combo. I don't wanna go, I don't wanna go too far, you know what I mean? Like, it's, uh, I enjoy touring all the homes, but sometimes coming into somebody's personal house, I don't wanna overstep, you know what I mean? but into the second bedroom. And trust me, I love opening cabinets and drawers. <laughs> so if I, if I would, I could, but into the second ensuite. I like the floors in here. I think that looks really sharp. This one, uh, we've got the toilet and then the shower and tub combo curtains open on this one. So I'll show you this one, but nice deep tub. And then you have your shower head it actually blends you can hardly see it. it blends into the wall then at the end of the hall this actually sits in between the two you have like a linen closet in here with plenty of more shelving then into the third bedroom up here fourth in total and this closet's open so we'll get a good look at what the closets look like in all the bedrooms. I know a lot of people <laughs> always want to see the closet. So this one's, they're actually really big. Nice walk-in closet in here. You've got some attic access right up above us. And then next to that is a, another ensuite. Again, another shower and tub combo. You got this toilet. Another window. This one actually sits up towards the front of the home. And then I like the sconces in here. You got the single vanity. Now from here, y'all wait until you see this basement. It's finished out and it is decked out. I mean, it looks insane. But while we're working our way down there, remember if you want any more information on this model or Diani Homes, you can find that right there at the top of the description or you can also go over to timothyplivingston.com where you can search not only this floor plan, but all the floor plans that we've toured across the country. You can see if they're built in your area, get price information, filter them down based off of square footage, number of bedrooms. Ooh, that's moody. Let's see if I can get a 
I didn't turn this one on, but you've got a powder room right here, right off of the kitchen. This sits right next to the stairwell before you go down into the basement, which is where we will go now. But yeah, uh, you know, we, we toured, I think four other Diani homes. It's been almost a year now, I think. There we go. Check this out. But I've loved, like all the Diani homes are amazing. But look at this basement. The thing is crazy. So not only do you have this great big bonus space down here, there's actually, I think, another bedroom. Yeah, a whole nother bedroom down here. So this is cool. This would be like a nice guest suite or something. It is huge. Oh, I didn't know it just keeps wrapping around. That's insane. I feel like I always get the biggest surprises from the basements, but um, we're not, I'm not going to go into these two, but it does have another closet right here. It's a nice big walk-in closet. You know, I, I poked my head down here to check everything out earlier, but I didn't know that the, the bedroom wrapped around. That's kind of cool. And then you have a full bathroom. You've got the vanity light. I like these countertops too. They're like sparkle. Like in a cool granity way. But you've got the toilet and a nice big walk-in shower. And I like that black. The black looks good. I have to, to note that. And then on the opposite side from the bedroom, this is another like little bonus area. Cool little spot for a gym. I probably should have turned on the other light, but you know, I think the moodiness kind of kind of got caught up with that vibe. I liked it. Uh, great big movie theater room. And that is separated by this cool little bar area. Definitely get some friends over here, have a great big movie night. Then you've got plenty of seating space. Like oh, this basement, it's got so much stuff happening in it. Uh, you've got a full bar back here, which is cool. You've got a refrigerator. We saw this, uh, I just saw this in a home that I toured, but the one that I saw looked a little bit more like chicken wire uh, than this one. This one almost looks like it's braided or, I don't know, it's cool. But full bar, you've got all the open shelves down here. On this side, you've got the sink, another panelized dishwasher which is neat. And then you've got this built-in microwave oven. And then this is, this is probably locked, but, oh, no. A whole wine room. How cool is that? I don't wanna get locked in here, but it's like a whole tasting setup. All the wine racks on either side. I like the brick back there too. I love touring these homes. It's so much fun. Just being able to dream. All right, let me know what you think about this one down in the comments. Again, if you want any more information on this model or Diani Homes, you can find that right there at the top of the description, or you can go over to timothyplivingston.com where you can search all the homes and watch all of the full tours and all that fun stuff. So definitely go check that out. Thank you so much for taking the time to tour this home with me today. If you want to, you can go ahead and click on this Diani home right here because if you like this one, you're definitely going to like that one. And with that, my name is Timothy. I look forward to seeing your beautiful face in the next one.